people always come up to me and like, oh, you got five or six razors and those things are like $300 each or $150. Like, I can't afford that. But then I look down and you have on a $200 pair of shoes. And the next time I see you, you have on another $200 pair of shoes. And when you think about it, those same $200 pair of shoes are not gonna extend your career any further, are not gonna be able to give you the ability to charge more. The only thing that is those $200 shoes are gonna be able to do is make you look good for the hour that you wear them, two hours that you wear them. But I say, let's, let's extend that. You know, put more money into your craft and you'll get a great deal of reward from that by having better tools in your toolkit. And don't worry about the price of your tool. Worry about the outcome. Worry about what's gonna happen, opposed to always worrying about the cost of it now. And little tips that you can do is, you know, take a, take a tip, take your tips and put them aside and, you know, save your tips up. You know, don't, don't co-mingle your money. You know, if you get a $20 haircut or a $40 haircut, whatever you may charge, take $10 out of that and separate it to go towards your fund of up in your, your toolkit and that's what's gonna keep the clients coming in is because they're gonna notice that, you know, you have different tools because think about it. When a client come in and they see the same tool, when you use something new, they, they're gonna ask you like, oh, is that something new you bought? Yeah, and then that's when you get the opportunity to thank them for coming in and saying, you know, thank you for, you know, continuously, you know, coming to see me and having service with me. And, you know, I want you to know that this is, a, this razor or this, whatever, you help me, you know, get this. And I believe that once we start doing that and once you do it, you you the $200 razor, $300 razor, 400, 500, whatever it may cost, you won't worry about it at that point.